Morning friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. The Super Bowl is just days away now. I'm a huge San Francisco 49ers fan. And today, with all the requests I've been getting, I'm doing a dip. Look what I have there. Some avocado, mango, yes. And we have Mr. Scotch Bonnet there too, you know. In this one year, you're going to see traits of a recipe I shared with you before called Zabuka Choka. Zabuka is just the way we call, one of the ways we call avocado down in the Caribbean. We also call it pear. Depending on the island, we tend to call it a little bit, well, a different name. Avocado generally is the, the name for it. I'm going to be using this avocado to make something similar to the Zabuca Choca that I made and I showed you guys a while back but you're gonna see traits of that Mexican um, guacamole but with a Caribbean twist you're gonna love it hey Chris here CaribbeanPod.com let's make this wicked Caribbean style guacamole the ingredients for this Caribbean style guacamole is as follows the juice of two limes I've got here about a quarter teaspoon of salt and this one here is something unique to the Caribbean Shadow Benny if you go to the uh, West Indian grocery store the Asian grocery stores the and this has been chopped up very finely um, two tablespoons of that this is Shadow Benny as I said and as well as the Latino grocery stores you may find it there if uh, it's not called Shadow Bene, it may also be called Culantro. If you cannot source Culantro or Shadow Bene, as I said, look for cilantro and you're going to use about half a cup of chopped cilantro. Some finely diced red onions, there's about three quarter cups of that here, finely diced. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of olive oil, a nice beautiful firm ripe mango, looking juicy. We're going to peel this and dice it up as well. We've got my friend here, Scotch Bonnet Pepper. Piece missing, but so it goes in the kitchen. I'm going to use about a quarter of a Scotch Bonnet Pepper. No seeds, um, because that's where most of the heat is going to be. We want this to be have a nice kick, but nothing too wild. One clove of garlic. And over here, I've got five um, the Mexican-type avocados. Um, Pretty small. I mean, I say you can, if they're bigger, you can use about four of them. Traditionally, well, typically in the Caribbean, our avocado or pear or zabuca, as we call them, they are a lot bigger. These five here would probably make up one of the avocados we have down in the Caribbean. So if you got those nice big ones from down in the Caribbean, there's only one you need. These are the ingredients here. If I forgot anything, as we go along, I'm going to update you guys. So let's get cracking on this Super Bowl special Caribbean guacamole. I'm going to be using the mortar and pestle today. I've got that piece of scotch bonnet pepper in there. Remember guys, wear gloves and wash your hands with soap and water after handling these guys. No seeds. Then I'm just going to... To make the crushing easier, because we're going to crush this, I'm just going to cut up that garlic into smaller pieces. And in goes that salt. And all we're going to do now is to crush that into a fine paste. Now it's going to go into a nice fine paste because with that salt that we put in there is going to be like an abrasive agent to help really break this down. Nice and smooth now. That is good to go. Got a nice bowl here. So all I'm going to do is scrape that into the bowl here. And we're going to start pretty much assembling everything else. Let's start out quickly show you guys how to peel a mango. Holding it nice and firm in your hand with a sharp paring knife or a potato peeler. All you want to do is go down on the skin as if you're peeling a potato or a fruit or something. And that's it. Notice the skin here. Just going to discard that. Continue peeling. It's got a beautiful color. Hoping this mango is nice and sweet. And that's about it. We're just going to continue peeling this and that's how you peel a mango to cube it. All you would do, you look at the center of this mango is going to have a hard seed. So as a guide where the stem is, you go maybe about a quarter of an about half an inch above that. And all you would do is slide your knife down. 
And there you go, that is the hard seed there. And this is the part we're going to be dicing up for this wonderful dip. The avocado itself is fairly easy to work with as well. All you want to do again, hold it in your hand nice and firm. Paring knife, go down until you heat, hit the seed on the middle. And all you would do is rock the knife all the way around. And then you would just twist. You've got Mr. Avocado there. Twist. And there you go. All you would do now is scoop that out and cube it up and get it. Well, just scoop it out and put it in the bowl. Again, teaspoon or tablespoon. All you want to do is put it down, scrape against the back of it and scoop it out. And then that goes into the bowl with the rest of them that I already have the garlic paste, garlic pepper paste in there. With all the peel well, the skin has been removed, the seeds removed, the avocado is in here. You're going to use a fork and using the back of your fork, all you're going to do is press down to crush this avocado at this point. Make sure you kind of get a sort of a, a, a cross between a smooth and a chunky consistency. It may take you about a minute or two to break it down, but that's all you need to do at this point. Then what you want to do is have the limes ready because the avocado is notorious for going discolored, um, going dark, and it's going to look, it won't look pleasing. Have the lime juice ready. We're going to squeeze that lime in there as soon as I'm done crushing this. Got my limes all cut. It smells amazing. I just love the scent of lime. I just want to squeeze that juice directly into this avocado, crushed avocado here just to prevent it from it going this color. Give that a quick mix. I've got the other lime there ready and waiting. So I wasn't sure if I told you guys or not, but I'm only using half of this mango. And as you can see, I diced it up very finely. Nice little dice there. So we're just going to top the avocado mixture with this mango now. And pretty much give it a good mix. Just want to sort of fold that mango into the mixture here. It's going to give it a nice crunchy texture and every time you scoop up some of this with one of those corn chips you're going to get a burst of sweetness along with the from the mango along with the creaminess from the avocado and don't forget all that garlic that scotch bonnet pepper and we still got some more ingredients to add at this point i'm going to take that shadow benny dump my boy in there and then i'm going to top it with that onion now leave it there at this point because what we need to do now, I don't want that raw onion taste. So I got my little frying pan here and I'm just going to go and heat up about a tablespoon or so of olive oil um, to about a medium high heat just before it starts to smoke. And then we're going to pour it over this onion to sort of take that tartness, that bitterness out of that onion. The oil is fairly hot so I'm just going to pour it directly onto that onion and that step there down in Trinidad we call that chunky I just chunk it this here for you guys next up just mix it all together let those flavors marry together hey no divorce something here now everybody have to live happy inside this bowl here give that a good stir check it for salt at this point because according to your taste you may require a little bit of salt I'm not heavy on the salt personally. And that's it guys. Wasn't that simple? I've got my little corn chip here. Just gonna dive in. Grab some. Mmm. I do apologize for eating on the camera. Mouthful trying to talk. This is beautiful, outstanding. You're gonna love this dip. That little bit of olive oil that we add there is going to give it a totally different flavor altogether. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Guys, you got to give this Caribbean-style guacamole a try. 
It is outstanding. Go San Francisco. We're bringing home that great, uh, not great cup. I mean, not in, I'm in Canada, man. <laughs> We're bringing home the Super Bowl. Have a great day. And do give this recipe a try.